was at So Expo, I obviously met with a ton of people, but a lot of people had questions about kind of how this all works, how I make money, how I support myself doing this. And so I thought I would put up a little video to kind of peel back the curtain a little bit about how influencer marketing works and also give you guys a bunch of ways that you can support the channel that don't cost you a penny, which is kind of the beauty of a lot of what I do is that you guys get a lot of content and it doesn't cost you anything. Um, so the very first thing that you can do is make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. You would be surprised how many times you have just gotten to my channel from Facebook or gotten to a video from Instagram and never actually clicked the subscribe button. And that's how you've been doing it all along. And you think you're subscribed, but you're not. The higher my subscriber count, the higher the sponsors and affiliate programs rank me as an influencer. Um, they value me more the more subscribers that I have. So the higher the subscription count, the more money they will give me and the more opportunities that I will have. And the next two things kind of are in line with that also. Um, you know, when I post a video and it goes out into the universe, the next thing that people look at is how many times that video was viewed and also the comments and likes and thumbs up and things like that. So the next thing that you can do is just make sure that you're giving my videos a thumbs up, double tapping on Instagram, liking on Facebook, you know, all of that kind of stuff on all the social media accounts. I am at Inside the Hem everywhere. And in addition to YouTube subscribers, they also do look at um, social media following as well. So if you use Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, those are the other three accounts that I am um, active on. So you can make sure you're following me there. And then when a new post goes live, like it, comment, even if you're just saying something small, like I really like what you made or looks good or whatever, all of those things count toward making me a more valuable asset to the brands and companies that I work with. Another thing that you guys can do that's totally free that helps me out a ton would be to share my videos and or posts with people in your sewing network. Maybe I posted a video about a dress I made that you think would look really cute on your friend or your niece or your mother or whoever and they sew and so you can send them the video to say, hey, I think this would look really good on you. Maybe they are already following me, but maybe they aren't. So it's just a way to expand my network through you guys. Okay, this next one, it usually gets the most like, wait, what? Um, okay, so at the beginning of every one of my videos, there is an ad that plays, a video ad that runs. And after five seconds, usually, there's a little option for you to skip the ad. So when that's how I, that is the baseline for how I make money, not in addition to working with sponsors and companies. If I never work with another company again, and all I did was post videos, um, that is how I would make money. Google owns YouTube. And so those ads are provided by Google. And every time you watch them, I get like a fraction of a penny. So not clicking the skip now button and actually watching the entire ad, I get a little bit more money <laughs> the longer that you watch the ad because that advertiser feels like it is more valuable the more of their ad that you watch. Okay, the next thing is when I actually do work with a company, you will see in the description box how exactly we're working together. Whether it's a sponsored video, whether I'm just using affiliate links, um, whether they just sent me the product in the hopes that I would talk about it on the channel. And, and also if there is no sponsorship, that's indicated as well. So if you see that a video is sponsored, don't look at it as like, oh, she's getting paid to talk about that. Like that is not why I do this. I talk about products that I genuinely use and love and I vet the products before I even talk about them. It's not something that's just like, 
uh, they're going to pay me. So I have to talk about it. I mean, there are plenty of companies that reach out to me that I turn away because the product isn't quality or it's just not something that I feel like you guys or I would like and use. So when you see that, don't, don't look down on it. Look at it as an opportunity and look at it as like a win for me. Um, that is like how I can be the most successful is getting someone to sponsor a video. Um, the sponsors that pay me obviously look for all the things I mentioned at the beginning, video views, comments, thumbs up, shares, you know, all of those things are things that they deem valuable. Even if you don't end up making the purchase, uh, if they feel like their brand is being um, distributed well, that is value to them. So, um, you know, doing all those things that we mentioned in the beginning, especially for sponsored content, really, really helps. And when it comes to affiliate links, so I get paid every time you purchase something or sign up for something using an affiliate link. I get like a commission if you want to think of it that way. So if you, for example, ever decide to get like an Aliso sewing machine or, or a Aliso iron or a Cricut cutting machine, coming back to my channel and using my affiliate links or reaching out to me and I'll send you the link. That is a way that I can earn a commission. If you feel like I am the one that influenced you to make that purchase, then I'll send you the link. It doesn't cost you anything to use the link. Um, a lot of times when I have sponsored videos and affiliate links anyways, there's a coupon code. But yeah, using those links, if you're gonna make a purchase, really helps me out because it's just like extra bonus income. And in the vein of full disclosure, there are a couple of other ways that you can show support for the channel that do cost a little bit of money, but you also get something in return. I mean, remember, I'm doing all of this for you guys and it costs you nothing. YouTube is totally free and watching my videos is totally free. But if you find value in what I do and you feel like you want to add to the tip jar, the inside the hem tip jar, I do have a PayPal in the description box. So you can drop a little bit or a lot of money into the tip jar and it's just a way for you to say, hey, I really liked that video or hey, I can tell you did a lot of work and I was entertained or I learned something or whatever it is, you can throw a little bit of change into the tip jar. And then I also just recently launched a Patreon. So if you're not familiar, Patreon is a way for us to connect on a deeper level outside of YouTube and outside of all other social media. So there's three levels to the Patreon, $3 up to $10 per month. And depending on which level you choose, you get different kinds of content, additional content from me that you don't get on YouTube or on my other social media. So we can have little like chat hangouts there. You guys will be able to like vote for videos and patterns and fabric and things like that. I'll also have like videos that I know you guys love and wait for, like the first impressions videos. I'll have those up on the Patreon a whole day early before everyone else can watch it. Um, so there's a bunch of different little perks like that in the Patreon. If you like what I'm doing here, you'll probably really love what I'm doing on Patreon. So might as well. And like I said, you can like hang out with me more and get to know me a little bit better. And I get to know you guys a little bit better. It becomes like a little club. Um, to that, I'm trying to come up with a really good name for all my patron, my patrons. And all I can think of is ITH squad but that feels really basic to me. I've also thought of the insiders, but that feels way too generic. Um, Dan recommended So Patrol, which everyone that I've asked about that says it sounds like Paw Patrol. Um, so I haven't come up with a really, really good name yet. And I want to put out a little call that you can leave a comment for what you think uh, all of the patrons should be called, anyone that signs up on Patreon. And if you win, 
when all of this coronavirus stuff calms down, I'll send you a little gift box of like a whole bunch of extra stuff that I have around here. Kai rotary cutters and Cricut materials and stuff like that. So it's like a little mini contest, but try and think creatively and try and think like what, what would encapsulate uh, the feeling of inside the him plus inclusivity plus our little gang and our little squad and you know our, our little group um, but hopefully this video helped you understand a little bit about influencer marketing and about all the ways that you can help support this channel and help keep this going for me I mean the sponsors are great and I have some that are incredibly loyal and I'm very grateful to all of them um, but you know, in order for me to keep that going, you know, I've got to keep growing and keep getting better and better. So hopefully this video will help with that a little bit and kind of remove the little, I don't know, like little curtain that is between an influencer and their viewers and followers and subscribers. So, um, but if you have any questions about it, leave those in the comments too. I'm happy. I'm, a, I'm a really an open book, very transparent about how all of this works and what I do. So don't hesitate to ask any questions, but that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.